Hello everyone at Vestas and welcome to our office down here on Speed Spot in Walvis Bay, Namibia, Africa. This is where we do all our speed runs. We've come here to find an arena which is perfect to show the potential of Malcolm's amazing design behind us there. The reason we've come here, we looked all over the world uh, to find a good place to sail this boat, is because of the regular winds that blow up the skeleton coast here from down south. You have uh, South Africa and Cape Town at 1,000, 1,500 miles down to the south there. The wind blows across this amazing flat stretch of land here. We have a mile long beach, nothing else on it to interfere with the wind, so the wind that is coming through is very pure. We have to set an average speed record over a 500 meter course. We only have to go in one direction. The boat is configured to only sail in one direction with the wind coming from the right hand side, also known as the starboard tack. We also need to have the distance to wind the boat up to speed because we have to start uh, from a standing start, hit the start line at maximum speed and then hold that average for 500 metres. That demonstrates that the boat can sustain an average speed, can reach a steady state. After the end of that 500 metres course, we have to then slow the boat down and that's why it takes us about a mile length of beach. We want flat water, that's why we want the wind coming off this beach and we want to sail as close to the beach as we can because the chop begins very quickly and choppy water sucks energy out of the boat. We've chosen a boat that can operate in pretty average, easily attained winds. Winds around 20 to 22 knots. Whereas boats are, or other craft that we're competing against, like wind surfers and kite surfers, and even big tri-brands, rely on winds anywhere from 30 knots up to over 50 knots. To give you an example, the current world record holders, the sailboarders, went into the south of France to try and catch the uh, Mistral breezes. They made a man-made ditch at the perfect angle to the wind and they waited there for five months and they had one day because they're trying to find perfect conditions in 50 or perfect 50 knot conditions. Very hard to find. One day, they got their day, they raised the record by a small percentage. We're trying to reach the same speeds in well, well under half the uh, amount of wind. So to do that we use uh, the concept underlying uh, Melford's amazing design and we're going to try and do 50 knots in 20 knots of wind. Sail Rocket or the whole project of Sail Rocket shares many similarities with what Vestas are trying to achieve. We're not just trying to go out and use it and uh, get wind energy from a hurricane, we're trying to use the breeze that blows past most people's faces every day and turn that into real energy we can use. We're all about e efficiency. We're trying to do something, we're trying to get the same amount of speed out of a sailing boat using probably about 20 to 30 percent of the energy available to those which are currently holding the record. We're trying to make places that don't seem like world record at setting locations usable. This place here at Walvis Bay, typically the wind is around 20 to 22 knots. And have the wind blows here on a regular basis. We get world record breaking days here I would say at least once or twice a week as against once every blue moon like what the other guys are trying to get. So it is all about efficiency but it's not only efficiency it's practicality. We're trying to take something which is quite an impractical uh, boat to build and sail and make it something which is usable in the real world. We have to work out where to take this amazing design and it's not just sailing it. We also have to make it transportable to bring it here to somewhere like Africa. We also have to make it manageable for people to uh, rig it up every day, to bring it over here, to set it up and sail it down the course, pack it up and take it away every day. We have to make it buildable and affordable to do so. We have to do it with a small team of people. We can't afford the logistics of having a hundred people run one of these programs. It doesn't make sense. So many of the problems we deal with are the similar problems that Vessas would deal with, not only relating to wind power, but also as a company. So far our best speed is uh, 44 knots. The current record is 49.09 knots. That's about 50, 58 mile per hour. It takes about 19 and a half seconds to do the 500 meter course at that speed. 19 and a half seconds will see us as the first boat to uh, get above 50 knots, which everyone's aiming for at this moment, and uh, mark a little place in history. It's quite special. We still have a lot of obstacles facing us. 
we think we've overcome most of the control issues now we have to make the, that boat's peak speed a nice average over the whole course I know we've got the, a great location I know we've got a great boat and I know we've got a great team what other obstacles we face are yet to be seen you have to remember that we are working with a Mark 1 prototype here and we're not just trying to get it to work we're trying to get it to go faster than any boat in history has ever sailed before I, uh, I fully respect the scale of the endeavour we've got and I fully respect the talent we have at our fingertips I think we can do it and I really want to get this done this year I'm looking forward to the next few runs I'm looking forward to at the end of the run when I can look at the maximum speed on that GPS and see 50 for the first time it's going to be a special moment and it uh, looks like you guys are all going to be, guys and girls are all going to be along for the journey whilst Festus has been a long time supporter of Sail Rocket I'm delighted that they've now stepped up and are standing shoulder to shoulder with us as title sponsors to help our dreams become a reality and to share those dreams with us. I think uh, they're going to be on board for the ride, both with the, the camera based up here on top of the timing hut and the onboard camera on board Sail Rocket. It's going to be one hell of a journey.